Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to Teacher Nisa Circle Time. So today we are going to continue our lesson still in Unit Two every day. And you can open your textbook page seventeen. So before we start our lesson, make sure you turn on your listening ears and turn on your looking eyes. Okay. Now let's begin. Okay, now let's proceed with the first activity. For the first activity is listening activity. So open your textbook page seventeen and focus on activity three. You can see there are four pictures there, and the instruction is copy the activity in your English one so that you have to draw the picture. But if you have printer that can photo stat it, you can just photo stat it and paste it in your English one. Otherwise, you can you have to draw the picture. If you just draw the simple picture, okay. Okay. So you have to write down the day. Today is Tuesday. Eh, sorry, today is Wednesday. And write down the date, seventeen March, twenty twenty one. And this is listening activity. So it means that you have to draw the picture first, then listen to the audio. And number the picture. Okay, are you ready? Activity three. Listen and number one to four. One. Does Mona always walk to school? Yes. She does. She always walks to school. Two. Does Ryan take the bus to school? No, he doesn't. He always rides his bike to school. Three. Christina, do you drive to work? No, I don't. I always take the bus. Four. Does Mike ride his bike to work? No, Mike never rides his bike to work. He always drives his car to work. Okay, so you can listen again to the audio to do the activity. Okay, now let's move to the next activity. Okay, there are two kids there. Okay, the first one asks his friends, "Does your dad drive to work?" No, he doesn't. He takes the train. Okay, as you can see in the blue box, there are about five answers: take the train, drive, walk, ride a bike, take the bus. So maybe you can change the answers to, "No, he doesn't." He drives to work. No, he doesn't. He walks. No, he doesn't. He rides a bike. No, he doesn't. He takes the bus. Okay, now let's focus uh, with these two questions. Okay, or table. Okay, there are about two ways to answer questions. Okay, the first one start with do. And the second one start with does. Okay, how and when to use do and does. Okay, now let's focus with the first one. The first one is do. You do. You have to choose the subject. You, they. Okay. Uh, what about we? Okay. Walk to school, and there are. Two answers. If the first one, if your answer is yes, if your answer is yes, yes I do, yes they do. Okay. If your answer is no, no I don't. Yes, hey, sorry, no they don't. Okay. So, if your answer is yes, and your answer with do. If Your answer is no, and the answer with don't. Okay, this is for do. Do, eh? 
change the color first. Two. Okay, now, second one, the question start with does. We use does for he, she, Ali, city, it. Okay, does he take the bus to school? Does she take the bus to school? Again, there are two answers. If your answer start with yes, and the answer with does. If your answer is no, and it with doesn't. Kalau jawapan no, di belakang tu masih ada not. Don't ini ialah do not. Okay, doesn't ialah does not. Okay, kalau no, mesti ada not not di belakang dia. Okay, now let's move to the some activity. Okay, now let's move to the second activity. You can open your workbook, page 11, and refer to activity 1 and activity 2. Okay, for the first activity, okay, uh, while you do this activity, don't forget to refer to the table. Okay, now example number one. Does Penny take the bus to work? Okay, now look at the subject. The subject is Penny. Penny. Penny itu seorang kan? Seorang. Dia adalah perempuan. Seorang ni she. She. So, the answer, the question should start with does. So, does Penny take the bus to work? Ingat eh, kalau soalan, kalau soalan ini, verb ini, kata kerja ini, kita menggunakan root verb, root word. Kata kerja dasar ke akar, something like that. Okay, tak ada tambah S. Tak ada tambah S. Okay, kalau jawapan dia baru ada S. Takes, Penny takes the bus. Penny takes the bus. Kalau soalan, there are no S, 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 S. So, salin saja. Okay, does Penny take the bus to work? Okay, now look at the second question. Second question. Mm, John and Helen mm, their bikes to the playground. Okay, the subject is John and Helen. John and Helen. Okay, apa benda tu? You, they, he, she. Mana satu? Mana satu? Okay, I'll change the color first. John and Helen. D. Mereka. Mereka. So, the question should start with do. Okay. Do. Do. Oh, sorry. Okay. Do. John and Helen. Write your bikes to the playground. So, you have to write down the answer. Okay. Now, let's move to the second activity. Okay. For the next one, follow the path and answer. Okay, Kate. Okay. You have to follow the line. She walks. She walks. Okay. First question. Does Kate drive to work? No. No, she doesn't. Okay, no, she doesn't. Okay, then you can add it on. You can add it on in three. That's a mistake here. Okay, again, does kid drive to work? No, she doesn't. Okay. She walks to work. 
No, she doesn't. She walks to work. Okay. Now, number two. Do Mai and Steve ride their bikes to school? So you have to follow the line. Yes, they ride their bike. So you have to write down the answer. Okay. So there are about three activities for today. Activity one. In your textbook, page 17. Activity 2, workbook, page 11. And again, activity book, page 11. Activity 1 and activity 2 in your activity book. Okay, once you're done with these three activities, you don't have to uh, send to my WhatsApp number. But tomorrow, we are going to have a Google Meet. To discuss all the answers, uh, all the worksheet from Monday up to today, Wednesday. Okay, so get ready. We are going to have a Google Meet by tomorrow. So that's it for today. Bye.